misleading people who is obsessed with several things, creating world peace. There's a petition just came out. They want to make her the co-redemptrix, mediatrix and advocate. This is a d demonic scenario created by Satan, folks. And they, um, the other thing, too, she's obsessed with Russia. Why is she obsessed with Russia? I get into that in my book. The connection, perhaps, with Ezekiel 38 involving Russia and the Mary apparitions. Why is she concerned about them? That was one of her third secrets in the Fatima apparition. And, and these, these apparitions are night, tonight. miracles and healings and conversions to Catholicism when these things happen. And they happened in, in Egypt in the late 1960s, seen by Gamal Nasser. So you can understand why that is the Roman Catholic Rome. Uh, there's different arguments who it could be. Is it Islam uh, with the central city of Mecca? Is it, is it New York City of America? Is it rebuilt Babylon, Iraq? Is it Jerusalem? Wow. Um, the church fathers I felt them, go baby. back throughout time, even at the time of the Reformation, and they clearly identify Rome as do I. But I'm telling you, folks, in the blink of an eye, Jesus is going to come get his bride. And it's a perilous period of time. And this period of time that could happen that are perilous, they'll be martyred. The fifth seal saints will actually be slain for their faith. This may be someone you know. So, I mean, I'm getting a, a little bit ahead of ourselves, but I just, you know, 2017, uh, Lynn, this could be a year where God allows the fulfillment of biblical prophecies to come off the parchments and find their fulfillment wow. found on the pavement. So I, I'm just alerting your people to don't think that those things have been prayed away. Those prophecies written a thousand years ago are converging and ready to happen. I agree 100% with you. And there's so much confusion right now because there's so many self self-proclaimed things aren't happening. But I want to, you know, reinforce to the listeners here that Bill takes what he knows strictly from the scriptures and he lays it Holy out for heck. you and explains it, and in a way that lines up 100% with the scriptures and is very clear and makes a lot of sense with the things that are happening. So. Um, you know, it's certainly very interesting, and as Christians, we're all oh, yeah. supposed to be watchful and prayerful of what is going on and how it relates to end times events. And Busy most night. importantly, we need to be ready uh, and be as close to Jesus Christ as we possibly can. Um, I did want to ask you, too, about your final point um, that's going to be an anniversary this year, and that's the 3,500 plus years of the year of Jubilee. In Leviticus 25. Right, and of course this is the one that's uh, the hardest to really know because we aren't exactly sure when the temple was destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD. Uh, the records were all it was 3,500 years, 3,600 years, this sort of thing. But you know, this is a super shemitah, if you will, perhaps year where um, a great release of the land, the forgiveness of the land, and, and the, the debts and everything. So, you know, we have to watch that, too. This is just another thing that could be coming in this year. And, you know, we're, we're not driven by dates.